Welcome to our presentation, Mind the Gaps with Flex Connect, Adapting Existing Online Courses for GC Flex Delivery. It has become inherent through the COVID-19 pandemic that students want to continue their education through flexible learning experiences, and many institutions are beginning to offer courses and programs in a variety of di different delivery modalities. Georgian College is currently piloting offering a high flex delivery strategy called GC Flex, and we've developed an innovative professional learning program to help faculty reflect and rethink how they're delivering their courses and address any concerns and challenges with technology that may arise. So this is our Flex Connect team. Uh, we're a team of four. Uh, my name is Alyssa Bigelow, and I'm an instructional design technologist. We also have Ashley Priest, an instructional design technologist. And we also have Kay Quinn, who is also an instructional design technologist, and myself, uh, who is a faculty developer. And we make up our Flex Connect team. So the goal of our presentation is to walk you through our team's process of why and how we've changed our classroom delivery platform at Georgian College. But also the solutions we came up with to help navigate the inherent challenges that come with the advent of any new delivery model. So we'll review our hybrid future and the changing landscape of education. Uh, for example, why course delivery options were changed to begin with. We will look at the definition of high flex, a term that needs some, some clear definition or defining when it comes to understanding the purpose behind high flex delivery. Uh, we will also shift the conversation to how Georgian dealt with the change in course delivery. So what, you know, what is GC Flex? What does GC Flex look like in action? And then the Flex Connect program, uh, which was designed to help faculty overcome and sort through the changing teaching terrain of our current landscape. So I want to start here with a quick reflection of what changed. So we won't spend too much time on this reflection other than to say that all of us as, a, as educators have witnessed a historical shift in how we think about education delivery. And that is the demands of, of teaching in a hybrid future. Uh, COVID not only changed the direction of our education system, but it did so overnight. So I personally remember the last day I was with my students and one day we were there and the next classes were empty and most of us or all of us were sitting at home thinking you know this might last two to three weeks and I, I was thinking you know we'll probably be back on campus uh, you know soon. Fast forward a year and a half later and we've come across some some significant changes in our day-to-day -day routines. So I'll start with a, a bit of a joke or a cartoon here and you know when I first thought or when I first saw this I thought this is cute, <laughs> you know, uh, but for some of us, it might also be accurate, you know, learning, uh, you know, learning how to, to go through Zoom or, you know, I fed myself or making sure you get over 250 steps in, you know, in a week. Uh, there's a, a few things on this list that definitely resonated with me. When I looked at this and reflected on it even more, you know, the important message that I took away from the changes we have experienced is that it is important to remember and reflect what has happened and see what we can learn from the scenario. And the next slide here sums up the initial changes we had uh, moving to a fully online environment at the beginning of the pandemic. The majority of ed educators uh, had three things here. We had little preparation to move course uh, material online. We had minimal online course development training. And let's face it, if you had more than one person working from home in your house, the third challenge uh, was resources in that you were battling for Wi-Fi. So the cartoon that I showed you know, in the previous slide was not only meant to poke fun at our adaptive lifestyles, but it was also a simple reminder that the pandemic forced us into such different terrain, uh, not only as educators, but as people, You know that sometimes it felt like we had started a brand new job, completely foreign to what we were once used to. And this slide, is also you know, a brief reflection in that we had little preparation, minimal training, and not always the proper resources to do well in that new landscape. And so from this moment, many organizations ask themselves, you know, how are we co-creating the future? How do we meet the demands of teaching in a hybrid future? You know, what do students want? What do they need? And well, one of the things that students said that they needed and, and wanted was the flexibility in their schedules and the learning platform an alternative access to materials and resources, and that's just to name a few. And so this is where 
uh, high flex comes in. So what is high flex? And we'll start with the definition here. Um, high flex course provides both a classroom and at least one online participation option or mode to students. So students are free to choose which option to use for each class uh, session. So it's not necessarily a new concept. You know, HyFlex has been around for a long time, uh, but it's been you know increasing since the pandemic. And flexibility, specifically, you know, a student need has come up to the forefront. There's been a lot of clear uh, student-driven data expressing the need for flexibility with scheduling and the ability for students to weave home uh, life and work together, uh, as well as with with their schooling choice as to how they participate with their learning environment and better access to skill development with regards to changing and evolving technology in any uh, career-related opportunity. So I'm not here necessarily to promote HyFlex, but in one way, uh, you know, Georgian has handled this seismic shift well, and we've used our own uh, sort of HyFlex branding. Uh, we call it GC Flex. And so GC Flex is Georgian's high flex delivery model. And here's a quick definition to help us, you know, keep on the same page. We look at it as curriculum that is designed intentionally and thoughtfully to provide choice to learners in their mode of engagement with their learning. So learners have the, the opportunity to choose to attend class in face to face online or uh, uh, when I say online, I mean synchronously or asynchronously. So remote learners can join in real time. Uh, via, via digital web-based technologies and learning tech activities are also designed to intentionally integrate remote and face-to-face -face learners. So in essence, you know, this definition was one way to help students uh, answer some of those questions on the previous slide. And how are we co-creating the future? Well, we've listened to student feedback. You know, students need that flexibility and choice, and this is one way uh, you know, on trying to meet the demands of teaching in a hybrid future. So we developed a program called GZ Flex, and that provides those options, the flex and the choice. So what do students want and what they, what they need? Uh, you know, they want to see us follow through on those options. You know, there's a, we, we talk about them a lot, and so now we're trying to get them implemented. And I think Georgian has done a, a really great job of that. So moving on, you know, here's an example of GC Flex, the high flex learning at Georgian College. And those amazing, you know, options for students are based on the four high flex principles developed by Brian Beatty, who is the leader of high flex development. Uh, learner choice, you know, that, that ability to have alternative options, the freedom to choose what modality you would like to learn in. That's number one. Uh, you know, we also have equivalency, knowing that, you know, no matter what mode you choose, your, your learning experience should be equivalent to another's. And then there's reusability, and that's meant to sort of remind faculty and students that online resources and lessons can be reused for, for uh, learning artifacts, and that better grows and develops our learners. And then there's also accessibility to course content. So whether that's, you know, recorded lessons, uh, lectures, uh, less crowded classrooms, opportunity for, for better small group discussion, we're trying to think in all of those uh, matters, and, and you're basing it off of these four principles to help the student. So when we look at those participation modes, it's pretty simple, just to give you a, an idea of what it looks like. Uh, GC Flex, uh, you can do in-person, uh, online synchronous, or online asynchronous. And within our faculty training program, we also provide the same options, which is uh, key. So. This is, you know, just a quick overview of what the classroom might look like, uh, and uh, this is sort of our end result, our first iteration of our uh, GC Flex program. But let's take a step back. We wanted to put this into action, uh, but as faculty member myself, I saw that there was a lot of challenges in just quickly implementing a high flex uh, or a GC Flex design. So when we look at GC Flex and how it has its own challenges and benefits, uh, we kept to this question. You know, how are we meeting the needs of the students? And when we look at that question, we're also focused on, uh, you know, how do we co-create co co the future and what does that hybrid future look like? And so, you know, through a lot of discussions, we consulted with faculty, students, administrators, et cetera, to identify the challenges and the benefits of moving to that flexible learning environment. And the findings, which are, you know, outlined in the diagram, influence that creation of that innovative program. 
It's called Flex Connect, and that's that's where our program kind of starts. You know, constructing some of the challenges that we ran into is constructing a fully online asynchronous synchronous course. That that takes a lot of time. The second point in the challenges there on the screen says managing the the ongoing uh, change in L LMS, and so that's a lot of technology that we have to provide training and and support with. And then the last point there is just providing faculty with training on best practices. It's not just learning how to use the technology, but it's how to implement it as well. So Flex Connect has been designed to address those challenges and help overcome the barriers to teaching and learning in, in that flexible environment. So we looked at the time, we looked at giving them proper training and the proper resources. And uh, the joke here is that we included Wi-Fi, right? That was, uh, you know, uh, uh, an important point. So with potentially you know, hundreds of faculty needing training with multiple starting points, because every faculty is gonna come from a different uh, set of skills or a different set of um, uh, you know, qualifications, we had to work with a specific frame, framework. So Flex Connect, our training program, we focused on faculty who needed to take a fully developed online asynchronous course and, and find any delivery gaps with assessments. Faculty already had that asynchronous course developed, and then we were trying to fill in those gaps. So we would look at assessments, we looked at instructional content and uh, active learning uh, strategies and activities to ensure that there was a learner equivalency so that they could reuse the content and make sure that it was accessible and equivalent throughout, the, uh, throughout their program. So that is part of what we did for, for that GC Flex, and it provided a, a ton of benefits. So now I'm gonna hand it back over to Alyssa. She'll talk about just where the starting point was for, for faculty before they started Flex Connect. So as, uh, as Bert mentioned before, um, Georgian uh, took a thoughtful and intentional approach to the implementation of GC Flex and is recognizing the amount of work that goes into developing these types of courses. So faculty are being uh, granted time and compensation for engaging with the professional development program. Um, we took a, a big picture approach um, and identified um, some instit an institutional pathway for faculty professional development. This image is just one of a few different pathways that we have available for our faculty, whether it to be develop an, to develop an online asynchronous course, uh, transition from face-to-face -to, -face to hybrid teaching, or a redesign uh, when we're looking at Flex Delivery. Um, so Flex Connect um, is a continuation or, or a build upon um, of designing a program that works specifically for faculty who have already been trained uh, and developed an online asynchronous course through our online course development program. Our OCDP has been running uh, very successfully for the last several years. And uh, one approach that we've taken is to build off of that asynchronous course and um, help integrate some of those flexible components for our faculty. So using the information um, from the chart that Bert showed us with the challenges and the benefits, we designed uh, the Flex Connect program to highlight the benefits um, as well as address any challenges that our, our faculty have concerns with or our students have mentioned. So as mentioned before, Georgian wanted to take a thoughtful and intentional approach to the implementation of GC Flex and recognizes the amount of work that goes into developing these types of courses. We took a look at the big picture and identified an institutional pathway for our faculty professional development. This image is just one of a few different pathways that we have available for our faculty, whether it be to develop a fully online asynchronous course, transition from face-to-face -to, -face to hybrid teaching, or a redesign uh, for GC Flex. When we ended up designing a program uh, that works specifically for faculty who have already been through uh, the Georgian College's online course development program. Um, the online course development program is a 14-week synchronous series for online course development. Uh, we've been running it very successfully for several years. Um, and through the semester, uh, there are a series of reviews uh, that are based on quality matters standards to ensure the courses have clear wayfinding, uh, they're AODA compliant, um, as well as uh, the learning outcomes are align with the assessments and the, the activities within the course. Um, so throughout the semester, faculty build and develop a fully online asynchronous course. 
So using the information from the chart that Bert showed us earlier um, with the challenges and the benefits, we designed a program that builds off of the online course development program for Flex. Um, this program is called Flex Connect, and it highlights the benefits and addresses the challenges that our faculty and students have outlined. Um, Flex Connect is a seven-week uh, design program, um, and our goal with this program is to mind the gaps, hence the title of our, program, our, our presentation, um, by adapting an existing fully online course into a Flex-ready classroom. So overall, um, the Flex Connect program has several goals. Um, a couple of important ones here to highlight. Um, we take faculty through the backwards design process to develop a GC Flex course so that students will successfully achieve learning outcomes regardless of the modality they choose week to week. Um, the, the adaptation um, of an existing online asynchronous course um, ensures that our assessments, activities, and instructional content for flex delivery are ready for pilot testing, delivery, and post-pilot evaluation. We also aim to help our faculty uh, leverage Blackboard and MS Teams to effectively um, manage the classroom for both the development and the delivery um, of a GC Flex course. And we also provide hands-on training on campus um, for the classroom technologies, as well as we provide access to a classroom simulation module. So um, we get faculty working with the equipment and the tools uh, so that they can apply uh, the design pieces to their lessons. The Flex Connect program is made up of seven weekly synchronous meetings. Um, we work with faculty through on-campus um, classroom technology support, uh, and we also offer a series of drop-in support sessions throughout the week so that if they'd like to come into the campus to work with the technologies and become familiar with the setup, uh, they're welcome to do so. Uh, the Flex Connect program itself is um, designed so that the first four weeks of the um, program are focused on the course design. We work with the faculty to look at their assessments and instructional content. Um, weeks five to seven, we have a focus on the classroom technologies and different strategies around managing um, the, the uh, online classroom and the face-to-face -face classroom. So we have a, a, a lot of different activities that are related to, to how we go about doing that. So with the course design aspect, um, again, it's based around the four principles of high flex. Uh, so the learner choice, equivalency, accessibility, and reusability um, of the materials. As we move through the design stage of the program, we equip faculty with the skills in order to rethink and redesign um, the assessment engagement activities and instructional content. Um, and we've developed a comprehensive program schedule as well as a template um, for faculty to plan out and clearly identify the expectations for each modality every week. Um, so on this screen, you'll see uh, just a snippet of what ours looks like, and we're modeling to our Flex participants. This one, uh, we've got a template based off of this so that faculty can use this to um, provide their students with the same types of information. We do work with faculty to kind of do a syllabus overhaul. Um, so in order to make sure that all of the different modalities and the activities are accounted for, um, we do en enable them to reuse uh, their current syllabus and, and just modify it, or they're welcome to uh, use this template and, um, and fill in the blanks, basically. Next, uh, we have our facilitation strategies activity. Um, this is an interactive H5P object that's been created, um, and it's a collection of common active learning activities that we've carefully outlined um, how they can be managed and accomplished with the same outcomes in each modality. Um, so we're also recognizing with this module that not every modality has to necessarily be identical, um, but the experiences do need to be equivalent. Uh, so this module um, takes you through different ways to moderate different activities, either if they're face-to-face -face or if the student is going to be doing them asynchronously online. 
And we've also created uh, an, an e-textbook um, for the Faculty Development Program uh, guidebook. Uh, and what this is is a compilation of all of our design process pieces and the classroom technologies, um, as well as some FAQs. Uh, and this resource is um, published and made available for faculty to use at any time. When it comes to GC Flex delivery, the biggest concern our faculty have um, undoubtedly is the classroom technology and how does it work. There's a lot of anxiety around, you know, how am I going to do this? And, uh, what does it look like? And, and we, we found through um, piloting this through the summer that we really need to get faculty into the classroom early um, to see the setup so that you can wrap their heads around um, exactly how they can deliver or, or redesign some of the activities that they have planned. One of the best parts of this whole setup is that it's really not very different from what we're already used to um, at Georgian. Um, our media services team has created a really easy solution for our podiums to be able to participate in the synchronous uh, teams meetings. Uh, we've hooked up an extra monitor so the online students uh, can be seen by the faculty at the podium and um, content is um, projected through the, um, the, the classroom projector screen. And one of the really cool things about this setup is that we can switch uh, the projector and, and the second monitor. So if, um, if a faculty is um, having a, an in-class discussion, the online students can be put onto the projector uh, for the whole class to see you know, their, their video feeds and the presentation moves from the projector to the second monitor. So we have a swap screen option that comes in really handy um, and it helps connect the two environments together. Um, one of the biggest challenges we've found with, with GC Flex is trying to make sure that the class is um, equivalent for everybody, um, their experiences are, are good. One of the ways that we can do this um, is to make sure that everybody is seeing each other um, to, to create a more cohesive classroom. Um, our classroom setups also have microphones in the ceiling um, so that everybody can hear each other. So online students come through the speakers and in class students, the microphones pick up any questions they have or any sort of discussion that, that happens and it, it feeds right through to the online people. Um, the other piece of uh, technology in uh, the room uh, that's not shown in this uh, image per se, but there is a, a wall mounted video camera at the back of the classroom uh, and it uh, has the ability to um, be repositioned. So you can show the whole classroom or you can zoom in and show just the podium or just specific spots within the classroom. And we're recognizing that, um, you know, not all students want to be on camera. If they come to class and they don't want to be on camera, we can um, manipulate the camera view so that, you know, those students' privacy um, is respected in, in those cases. So there's, there's a lot of different things going on uh, with the podium setup and with the classroom setup. And we also realize that not all faculty um, are able to um, participate in the drop-in sessions or ca can't get to campus. They live a little bit away. So we've developed a classroom technology simulation module. And this module, um, the, the image that you're seeing on the screen right now is actually the module itself. Um, so you will, you will see um, everything uh, that you need to know about how to work in a GC Flex classroom. Um, and it's a click by click step through of how to get your classroom up and running. So it's, um, it's great. Um, faculty can do it as many times as they need to um, and become comfortable with the different clicks and the different processes that are required to, mod to moderate their classes. Uh, the other component to the classroom technologies are, is the software that we're using. Um, so I mentioned before we are using Microsoft Teams uh, for the meetings. Um, our podiums uh, have been integrated with the Teams platform uh, and it's a, it's a really seamless uh, experience. So we're working with faculty to create uh, classroom team setups to enable the synchronous and asynchronous group work uh, in Teams channels. Um, and introduce them and get them familiar with some of the other collaborative things we can do with Teams. It's a really um, incredible platform that has a lot of um, different um, functionalities with it. It's very flexible. 
Um, the other uh, piece of software that we're using um, is our Blackboard Learning Management System. Uh, and our Blackboard Learning Management System houses um, our content, the majority of our content, uh, some of the resources, and it also connects our, our um, classroom to the Microsoft Teams environment. Um, so we have different access points and ways that faculty can get at all of these different solutions, and they're all integrated together. So some insights uh, for a hybrid future. Um, the COVID pandemic has really made it clear that flexible learning is here to stay. Um, the pandemic has forced us to shift how we teach and learn. Um, and as such, students have been provided with increased access to course content through many digital mediums and platforms. And they've also been able to study in a way that best suits their needs during this challenging time. Our faculty have done an amazing job adapting to make necessary changes to accommodate the emergency remote teaching and learning landscape, and will now be um, expected to offer more flexible program options. Uh, Georgian College is recognizing the incredible amount of work that goes into creating high quality online and flexible courses, and has made a commitment to ensure our faculty are recognized for their efforts uh, through the development of the FlexConnect program. So that wraps up our, um, our tale of uh, FlexConnect. Uh, and on behalf of uh, Bert, myself, uh, Ashley, and Kate, uh, we thank you so much for joining us.